Hello, this is Janmini. You are watching News Recap and here are the top stories of the week. To address the long-standing demands of the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization regarding the establishment of the frontier Nagaland territory, the state government announced its readiness to forward the matter to the central government. Maluri in Nagaland has been designated as the state's 17th district. The Israel Defense Forces has said that it had killed Jafar Khadr Faur, commander overseeing Hezbollah's missile and rocket operations in its NASA unit. And now, the news in details. To address the long-standing demands of the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization regarding the establishment of the frontier Nagaland territory, the state government announced its readiness to forward the matter to the central government. This decision was made during a cabinet meeting where various pressing issues were discussed, including the concerns raised by the NPO and the Eastern Nagaland Legislators Union. Power and Parliamentary Affairs Minister K.G. Kenye briefed the media on the Cabinet's deliberations, emphasizing the government's commitment to the advancing the ENPO's interests while maintaining adherence to the traditional and legal frameworks of Naglan under Article 371A of the Constitution of India. The ENLU had recently completed its internal discussions and submitted a consolidated proposal to the Cabinet, which led to a thorough examination of the ENPO's request and a consensus on a way forward. Minister Kenya highlighted that the proposals presented by the ENPO were closely aligned with the state government's position, paving the way for a unified approach to the next steps. Maluri Nagaland has been designated as a state 17th district. This shift is more than mere administrative reorganization. Maluri is the headquarter of the indigenous Puchuri tribe. The elevation of Maluri to district status came after the bifurcation of the Peg district during a recent cabinet meeting chaired by Chief Minister Nipurio. This change is a part of a broader strategy that has seen the creation of new districts across Nagaland over the past few years aimed at decentralizing governance and encouraging local development. This decision was hailed as a significant achievement by the tribe's apex body Puchuri Hoho, marking a red letter day for their community. MLZ Nusito Nutea played a crucial role in this development. Maluri covers approximately 1,011 square kilometers and is home to 31 recognized villages. It serves as a crucial cultural and economic hub for the Puchuri tribe who have inhabited this area for generations. The Mapur police have arrested two women on charges of defrauding several persons by running a loan scam. In a press release, police identified the two accused persons as Sungti Tongoi, Elias Awala, and Chipeno Muri. The arrest was made following reports in various social media and local news channels, it stated. During the course of inquiry, it was admitted by the two that they had given out loans to several individuals in lieu of certain security amount and had executed deed of agreement on government stamp papers in the name of four unregistered societies, namely Limuko Society, Royal Society, Nikomi Society and Rural Society. On further inquiry, it was ascertained that these four societies were non-existent and the duo had fraudulently executed deed of agreement. Several victims are yet to receive the loan amount after depositing the security amount, it stated. A case has been registered and the two women are currently under police custody for further investigation. The Dimapur police further appeals to the victims of the scam to come forward and report at West Police Station, Dimapur. A total of 13,31,555 electors are there in Nagaland as per the draft roll 2025. The draft photo electoral roll was published on October 29, 2024 for all 60 assembly constituencies in Nagaland by the respective electoral registration officers. Chief Electoral Officer Naglen, via Sun R, informed that the draft electoral rolls 2025 was accessible in the website of the CEO Naglen, where final photo electoral roll would be published on January 10, 2025. As per the draft roll, out of 13,31,555 electors in the state, 6,66,473 were male and 6,65,080 were female. The electors' population ratio of the state stood at 534, while elector gender ratio stood at 1009 as per the published draft rule. 
The period for filing claims and objections would be from October 29, 2024 to November 28, 2024. Special camp would be held in all the polling stations on November 8, 9, 22 and 23 for receiving claims and objections. The Israel Defense Forces has said that it had killed Jafar Qadr Faur, commander of a Singh Hezbollah's missile and rocket operations in its NASA unit. The ITF reported that Faur was targeted and killed in a precision airstrike by an Israeli Air Force fighter jet in the village of Jawia in southern Lebanon without telling the time of the operation. The IDF said that Faur was responsible for initiating Hezbollah's first firing order on October 8 last year and since then had been responsible for multiple attacks from eastern Lebanon against Israeli civilians and soldiers. He was also responsible for multiple rocket attacks towards the Israeli and next Golan Heights, including the attack on Druze town Majd al-Shams, which resulted in the killing of 12 children and teenagers in July. Another senior figure in Hezbollah's NASA unit, the commander of the drone operations, was also killed in the airstrike. Hezbollah was not commanded on this matter. According to Israeli military, Jaffa Qadr Faur was the head of the rocket and missile array in Hezbollah's NASA regional division. The division is responsible for the region between Mount Dov and the Pint Vale area. Will that be it for this week's Top Stars of the Week? For more news and updates, keep watching Global Window and good night.